Hi guys, it's again Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to up my canal. So today we're going to do a demo slash review on a new concealer from L'Oreal Paris. So L'Oreal come with this infallible more than concealer. So excuse me, if you live in Holland, I picked this up from the Kreuzfeld. I picked two shades. I picked on. Um, 338 this is this this is 338 and I also put I picked up 343 this is the dark shade I think this is the darkest shade to contour so I thought you know what let me give it a try there was actually no tester in the store for me to test but this one was a little bit I thought I could use this to highlight the other shades were there they're a little bit dark a little bit too light and this was dark the darkest so I decided to pick this up so I want to I've already done my face I've done my foundation but I haven't really highlighted and contour so today I want to come and do a cream contour again show you guys how I use this so yeah so this is what it looks like I pick this up I've not really used this before I've seen a lot of great review on it on um, YouTube and which I'm kind of really excited because to see what other people think of it this is well packaged guys yo they have all this um alarm you know in holland when you buy when you uh, buy stuff they have these things that they put in it when you don't pay for it some people have that character they'll go to the store and just take the stuff as if they own the store they'll just walk out so they put these things if you don't pay for it you get like an a lot of uh, you get like beep, beep, beep. I don't know how to say that in English but yeah like that you also they also have it on this one I'm just gonna remove it I don't like this on yeah sometimes it's really hard to remove it it makes the concealer looks a little bit um yeah it's not cute but they just they have to put it there if they don't put it there, people are just coming to the store and collecting stuff as if they own the store. And that is not good. Yeah, it leaves this crazy stuff. But yeah, it's okay. So yeah, so this is a concealer. So we're going to use this to highlight. I have my Real Technique on brush and sponge. Which I'm going to use this to do the cream contour. But first, let's do... The highlighting okay I think I picked the right shade it's not that super bright the thing is quite big you know it's not like super big but it is quite big gonna highlight my nose I don't like to do my forehead but let's for the purpose of this is the new concealer let's do the forehead it's now it's time to go I'm going to take my sponge I'm first going to start on my chin to see how this wow it blends pretty soft okay you guys can see it blends really smooth and it's not like super super bright Yo, I love the way the on the eye looks. If you're somebody who like want like a super, super, super bright on the eyes, maybe you get a shade lighter. But if you're somebody who just like just a normal um on the eye, not like super, super bright, just bright, but not like super, super, super bright. I think this is a uh, the three. 
38 it is quite a nice shade it blends really smooth I, I wanted to put a contour shade but I thought maybe this is going to be difficult to blend so I thought I don't want it to dry on my skin so that's why I'm like let me first um, blend the highlighting and then later go again and blend the contour you know Yo, it blends so soft I'm just gonna put a little bit more underneath my eyes just underneath my eyes here like this concealer just when it blends it just looks like just maybe a shade lighter than my skin tone but it it is quite nice okay Mm. yeah oh my god it's blend so nice it's blend really smooth so now it's time to do the contour let's see how dark is this this is not that dark I can actually use this as a foundation maybe just put a little bit of this lighter shade I can definitely pass this off as a foundation. It is not that dark. I thought it was going to be super dark because when you look on the packaging, it's really dark. But inside, it's not that dark. So yeah, I can definitely wear this. As a foundation, mix with the light one a little bit so now it's time to contour I'm going to take my real technique sponge um, brush I'm first going to start with my nose And then now I'm just going to take the concealer. I'm going to put it up first instead of bringing it down. Just good. You can't actually see like this is. It is a little bit too light to contour it. I can definitely use this underneath my eyes. Maybe I just put a little bit of the lighter shade. But it is not bad contour but I don't feel like it is that super super dark I feel like this Nab Nabla cosmetic um, concealer this one looks a little bit darker than this okay this one looks lighter uh, and the packaging but inside it is quite dark when you look at the inside and this one looks darker on packaging but what is inside it's not that super dark the first time when I picked this concealer I thought oh it's gonna be um, not light not that dark but inside the, the packaging inside is the concealer that comes inside is pretty dark than the, what the packaging is telling you and this one is the opposite the packaging outside looks super dark but the inside is not that dark because you can barely tell that I have a concealer so I'm just gonna take on um, the other side of the sponge I'm just gonna blend this um, smooth just blend everything smoother I thought it was gonna be like really really dark but it is not that dark I'm going to blend the concealer It is okay. It's not that super dark. It is, but it's okay. Maybe next time I'll definitely just mix it with the other concealer and just mix it together. So now I'm going to take my powder. This is a setting powder I mix on my own. So I'm just going to take that. I'm going to use that to set. And 
and you guys know I love using this setting powder because I like to go for that natural on the eye I don't want it to be like um, super super bright sometimes I just don't want like that super super bright on the eyes you know that is why So I'm gonna leave this one to bake. I'm going to set my face with my Makeup Revolution powder, setting powder. This is in P15, F15. I'm just gonna wipe this um, powder off my face. And then I'm gonna wipe the excess powder. Yeah. <laughs> I love the way my on the eye like it looks like really it's not like it doesn't really it's not like super super bright but it gives you like this really natural eye lighting my on the eye look really smooth it gives you like this photo of, like a filter like I had like a photo filter on any my eyes I don't know if the camera can pick it up but it looks really nice you know I like it and I, I don't have like that you know sometimes you have that like creasing crease on the eyes or line I really don't have it it is okay but the contour part the contour mm, did nothing for me I, I don't think I can use this concealer to contour next time I'll just mix these two and use it on my face instead of using it to contour so I'm going to use my contour powder from the LA Girl. I'm just going to put a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, when I put on, when I put a contour powder, then I can see because then it's a little bit darker, so the darkness just stand out very easy. You guys can see I just put a little bit of powder. Yeah, and just take the excess brush, whatever is on the brush, just do the forehead. Take that a little bit. Then the nose, yeah. So I love how my face looks. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set my face with my Rimmel London setting spray. So guys, this is the finish result. First of all, let's just say. I'm really impressed with this more than concealer and I really like it I love the way my under eye looks it's not that super super bright it's not that dark I just like the way it looks with my powder if you want it to be a little bit lighter you can use a lighter concealer maybe a, a lighter shade or you can use a really bright under eye powder but you guys can see my under eye powder it is um, a little bit on the darker side and I really like how it looks but for contour this is way too light for me to contour it's not like you can't actually see the contour path but because I use my contour powder but for contour mm, not for me it's too, a little bit too 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 light um, for me to contour uh, maybe I can definitely pull this out as a foundation mix a little bit with this one just a little bit of this and then pull it I'm gonna try it one day I'm gonna try it I'm gonna really try it pull this to pull it up as a foundation because sometimes I like when a concealer is super good I like to wear it as a foundation maybe just a little bit not too much one of my favorite concealer concealer foundation that I like to use is my makeup revelation concealer this is an F15 I love wearing this as a foundation it looks really really nice but I love the way my under eye look it gives me this really photo finish looks I love the way it looks but yeah this is the finished result I hope you guys like this if you guys live in Holland go to the Clyde's first now you can buy one and get one for free so that's how I, I bought this I bought one one retails for 13 or 14 euros and you can get one for free so if you live in Holland go to the Clyde's first and check it out but I really like it so yeah I hope you guys like this video if you guys do, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, I'm loving my crazy hair. I want to take it out, but I'm feeling too lazy. But yeah, hope to see you guys soon. This is your girl, Ermi. 
Doei! Vergeet niet te abonneren en hoop ik jullie zo snel mogelijk te zien op mijn andere video. Doei!